Welcome to Bridesmaid Fit Podcast. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and you're watching episode number 15. We're very excited about it. And in case you don't know, Bridesmaid Fit is Metro Detroit's only in-home personal training service for brides-to-be, and Bridesmaid Fit Podcast is your source for health and fitness, entertainment, and information. Now, when you're planning a wedding and you're getting, uh, you're getting fitted for your dress, one asset that really matters is your butt. And we want to make sure you have a nice, firm, and toned butt, not only for your dress, but think about what you're going to be wearing on uh, your vacation, honeymoon, and also your first night together, you know. So you're going to be showing a little bit of skin. We want to make sure that your butt stays nice and firm. So this is called our Booty Full Bride Workout, as in booty. So I'm going to show you guys some really awesome and simple movements that you can do that will help firm and tone your butt and your legs. And this is all while also practicing healthy nutrition. So don't be eating McDonald's and, uh, and candy bars every day. And also sticking with a strict cardio program. So that's nutrition, check. Cardio, check. And then I'm going to show you the movements to get you where you want to be and where your butt to look very nice and firm. And guys, you know, if you're watching the show and you have a lady or you're engaged, anything like that, and you want to bring this to their attention, please send them our link, bridesmaidfit.com. Send them to this podcast so you can show them these movements because not only are they going to benefit from it, but you're going to benefit from it too, having a nice firm butt on your girl. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, the first movement I want to show you, it's very simple. Use a stability ball. I'm going to grab it right over here. This can be stability ball wall squats. And now what made me kind of come up with all these movements and in this particular circuit is because I had a client a while ago, a couple years back, and her biggest motivation, she was a bride-to-be, but her biggest motivation was, you know what, she wanted her butt to look good in a thong for her honeymoon. So it's just perfect. I came up with it. She was happy with the results and she looked great according to her. I didn't see her in her thong, but she told me that she looked great. Her fiance was very happy. So that's what just kind of got me motivated into making a really good butt workout. So first, we're going to do the stability ball wall squats. You're going to bring the ball just in the small of your back, and you're going to lean against the ball against the wall. And don't be afraid that the ball is just going to come splatting away from you, and you're going to fall on your face because you're not. Because you're pushing against the wall, the wall is pushing against you, so everything stays put. So now you're going to keep your legs hip width apart, and bring your feet slightly in front of you because when we go down in the squat, you're going to make a nice 90 degree angle just like this, okay? You can go down as far as you can, but make sure you push through the heels. The reason why we're pushing through the heels is because that is helping us isolate and target the glute muscles right in here, the butt. So I want you to keep your knees facing forward, make a nice box, 90 degree angle parallel. And if you feel like you're starting to lift up your heels, I want you to think of lifting up your toes just slightly to really isolate the butt and keeping all the weight through the heels. And keep your chin up and your chest up. You're going to give me 20 of these. And um, if you want to make it even more harder, you can add weights. You can hold dumbbells just to add a little bit more weight or a barbell to give you more uh, resistance on the downward. You want it to be nice and slow and exhale at the top. Always exhale on exertion, nice and controlled and slow. We don't want to speed through these movements because uh, that doesn't give the muscle fibers enough time to uh, react and you want them to uh, respond to these movements so you can get firm muscle and, uh, and get the muscle a little bit built up so it can be nice and firm and you want it to react. Okay, now the next movement that we're going to do moving on is going to target the legs individually. So this is going to put a little bit more uh, weight on the legs because not only are you putting you're, you're basically not sharing the wealth between both your legs. You're just putting it on one. So first, we're going to start with the left leg. This is all called a split squat. So it's basically a squat. You're just splitting it in half. Now, you can put your back leg, just leave it on the floor. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a step. And if you don't have a step like this, um, you can use either a porch step or a step at your house or even a step stool, anything you can find if you want to elevate the back foot. So you're going to put the foot toe right on the step. Same concept as the wall squat. You want your foot to be slightly in front of you because when we go down, we want to do what, folks? Make a 90 degree angle with our knee, okay? So, chin up, chest up, arms on our hips, down, straight down. And think about just coming straight down. Try not to lean forward. See when I lean forward, now that angle decreases and my knee is going over my ankle and that puts a lot of pressure on the knee. So keep it just straight down. 
bring the toe up slightly if you have to to really isolate the buttocks and this is good also working the hamstring because you want to be able to shape the hamstring in order to accentuate and, and accentuate the firmness in the shape of the butt as well. I want you to give me 15 on each leg. So we're going to switch just so you can see one more time. And when you switch, just bring that other leg right where the other one was and replace the back foot straight down. Scooch this one up just a little bit. All right, good. So 15 on one leg, 15 on the other. Rest for one minute and then do three sets. Okay, now sticking with the single leg concept, because it helps us isolate each leg properly, we're also going to do our third movement, which is called the floor bridge. But we're gonna do a single leg incline floor bridge. Now, once again, you can do this one with no step, but I'm gonna continue doing it with the step. So all you're gonna do is just find one, sit down facing. And then this one, you're gonna keep your heels up. Keep your heels up the whole time because once again, it's gonna help us isolate the butt. So I'm gonna lay down, palms at the ground, back nice and flat. So we're gonna do this movement, but instead we're doing it with one leg. So lift one leg, keep this leg straight, and just push straight up. Just like that. And if you feel yourself sliding back, scooch up a little bit more and think up, not back. Push through the heel. Once again, this is targeting the glutes and the hamstrings to give you a nice, shapely legs. Because we want to show off the legs, you want to show off the nice lines that you have. Because see, guys, guys like that. Guys want to see that women have a little bit of muscle and that we're strong. And we have a little bit of substance too for them to touch, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Once again, just like the split squat, you're gonna do 15 on each leg and then rest for one minute in between. So it's whichever that you prefer, but this is just a great workout because it is a little bit more convenient. You don't need a lot of equipment and it really targets the leg muscles because honestly, a lot of times people do forget that, you know, even though you're doing cardio and using your legs, you still need to exercise the muscles to prevent injury and to sculpt them as well. And especially for your wedding and for your honeymoon. And if you have any questions about any of these movements that we did, please feel free to email me at jenny at bridesmaidfit.com. I'm always on there and I will gladly email you back. I wanna hear from you. And you can also comment on our comment section just right below us and I'll answer to any comments that you may have on this. And also, don't forget we are on Viddler. They host our videos, so visit viddler.com. And also we're on iTunes. We are keyword bridesmaid fit. So you know what, we're everywhere. You can't get away from me. I know you're out there and I'm gonna come find you. So make sure you visit us there. And also if you're in the Metro Detroit area and you want to contact me for some personal training or for boot camp, you can reach me at 888-MADE-FIT. It's nice and simple, easy to remember. You can put it on speed dial, okay? <laughs> now before we go, let's just get away from some of, these, uh, some of this fitness stuff. And I want you to ans answer me a question. This is gonna be the question of the week. Um, well, first of all, I'll give you a little history. I, Jenny DiDonato, is going to the New Kids on the Block concert October 25th, and it's at the Palace of Auburn Hills here in Detroit. And my friend Amy, she got me a ticket to see New Kids on the Block. Now, the reason why this is so important to me is because I liked them a lot when I was younger. I was like five or six years old. I never got to see them. All the girls came into school. They were like, yeah, we saw the concert, and I never got to see them. So, of course, they broke up, and then everyone was like, oh, they're not cool, and now they're cool again. So I'm going to see them. It's 20 years later. Okay, they're not cool. Whatever. Chris is saying they're not cool, but okay. It's just good reminiscing. But anyway, I have tickets, and uh, my favorite new kid on the block now is Donnie. So I want to know who yours is, if you may still have one. You know, we got John, Jordan, Donnie, Dan, and uh, Joey. So I know I'm a dork for knowing that. But tell me, who is your favorite new kid on the block? I want to know. Or if you don't like them at all, just let me know. But uh, anyway, that is it for this week's episode of Bridesmaid Fit. And uh, let me know in my comment section what you think. Looking forward to seeing you again next week. Take care. I'm going to continue my workout. Well, I used to have a lot of cards and pins of new kids. But of course, my mom threw it away because uh, they weren't cool anymore. But I do have. It's a pen. I'm going to wear it. You think I should wear it for concert?